it's welded on. Okay, so if you read the directions, it says bend it. You guys are keeping score. 39 inches is how I made the wooden frame, right? And it, it worked out perfectly. Very, very lucky that it did. But the width of these leveling feet, you know, it's, it's actually in the manual, so it's, it wasn't a huge mystery, but it, it, it works out really well to have a six inch wide support. And then there's about half inch on either side of the leveling foot. So it's the perfect size. It, obviously, you could go wider if you want, but it would be a waste of money, I think. It's pretty damn hot in the sun. Even the metal is getting a little hot. So I decided to move into the shade to uh, do all the leveling legs first. Because there's quite a few of them and I'm just sitting there, you know, cooking my neck in the sun. So this is something that I could have done inside had I known about it. Um, but this is fine. Sit in the shade. Maybe I'll have a drink. And do all the leveling legs. It's pretty repetitive and slow. So I've been doing this for what feels like five hours, just putting these feet together. One thing I noticed though is, so the threads aren't perfect on all of them and it's taking a little longer than it should to put them together. Uh, but I noticed that it's not a big hint, but if you put the two nuts on together, it's just speeding up the time it takes. I was doing them one and then the other one and it's kind of silly since I have to do the same motion over and over again. You just keep the two together until you get this one all the way to the end. And it just kind of speeds up the putting of the legs together, which it's, it's taking forever, so. So we're getting there with the track, uh, but it turns out I think they shorted me six leveling feet. When I bought the uh, six and a half foot extension, it didn't come with any additional leveling feet. 
So I'm gonna go call him now and see if I can expedite getting those feet sent to me before I start stacking weight on this thing. It goes bracket. Shit. Hmm. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Let's try this again. Bracket. It goes bracket. Big spacer. Pulley. Small spacer. It's right in here. Next pulley, washer, and then the nut. And the nut. Whew. Okay, nuts. Super easy. Doable. I'm just going to put everything on loosely and then snug it up last to make sure that I've done it right because it's just pictures, you know, you're just going by pictures, it's hard to be sure until everything's really on. So I suppose this goes like this, just do one of these over here. Huh. Probably this way. I'll double check in a second, but it looks like it would go like this and like this. Basic idea. This one, I suppose, goes like this. going to be a pulley here. So I put the wrong bolt in.
This part's a little odd. This is one of a kind bolt. And I'm guessing this is what it's for. Again, I don't have a metric scale. So what I think it's for, because I have no more nuts to fit the smaller bolts. I have plenty of smaller bolts left over, but no nuts for them for some reason. And I think this is for this. Kind of strange, but it fits, it works, it's the only one. When I get to the end and find out I need it somewhere else, I'll take it off again, I guess. But this is what I'm thinking is that it goes here. So reverse it. This is called the log scale bracket. Not logarithmic. Log scale bracket. Sorry, nerdy. Nerd alert. Here's another little problem. Everything being metric, I don't have the right nut drivers to run these in. So I wind up doing everything by hand. It really slows everything down. There you go. Slapped it on with the backhoe, you know, lifted it up with a bunch of rope around the, the, the lifting rings and set it down gently and then lined it up with the rails. The only thing is that my ground slopes away, so it wanted to get away from me, wanted to roll, so I put the dogs up, the log dog, to catch it. So um, I have to go back in and, and uh, you know, make sure that it's, it's level. Uh, but I wanted to put some weight on the rails and let it sink down into the dirt first kind of push it down where it's going to go and that way I can level with the legs and everything should be perfect.